Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? So good. Uh, it's so good. Okay, good, good, good to hear. So how was your day? What did you do today? What was relevant today? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Well, in my case, it was a regular day. Today is my Monday because yesterday I got off and Tuesday is my Monday for me. I started the week. Okay. So Monday is your day off? Uh, Sunday and Monday, yes. Oh, two days. Hey, okay. that's nice. That's yes, cool. really nice. And I love Sunday and Monday. Yeah, because Monday you can do some errands, right? Sunday you do nothing. And Monday you do errands, you do the home chores. That's what I will do. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so you are rested. Yes. So so. <laughs> That's I am awesome. a mom, so I cannot rest. Mm. How how many children do you have? Just one. Just one. And how? will be the only one, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Who knows? And is he, is he a, a baby girl or a baby boy? She's a baby girl. She's four years old. Four? Oh. She's four years old. I'm glad to hear. That's awesome. Okay, okay. We're almost ready. So how was your day, guys? Tell me. Thank you, Jocelyn. Very nice. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good night. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> Okay, how was your day, Juan Marcos? Uh, it's a bit. It was busy? Yeah. It was a busy day, okay. okay, okay. I have some, some problems in my, in my workplace. No matter. I'm glad to hear that. I guess you resolved them. You were able to resolve them. Yeah. Right? Okay. Good, good. Okay, guys, it's good to have you. Let's start by checking your attendance. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Please turn on your camera, guys. Everybody, turn on your camera. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Give me just a second. Carlivania Cabrera Serrano. We have to stay today 10 more minutes, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Eh, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. ¿Cómo siguió Elvin? No veo que está usando la mascarilla. Sí, ahí vamos. <laughs> Bueno, primero Dios que no sea nada grave. Ok, Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. José Antonio... I did it already, sorry. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. 
Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Roberto Luis is not here today, okay. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. What happened yesterday, William? Oh, you got the shot. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Alan, thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Thank you. Carolina Ibet Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Johnny, did they contact you? Did they contact you from administration? No. No? Okay. No. Okay, they will follow up. They will follow up with you about okay. your user in the platform. Okay, okay guys, let's start uh, this class. Uh, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What do you remember about yesterday's class? Talking about procedures. About procedures. Okay. What is the action? How to do the actions? The checklist. Yeah. Right. Checklist. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to interpret the information presented in a staff schedule chart. We have to learn how to understand information presented in a chart. Someone's listening to the radio or something. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start. So that's our goal today, to interpret the information presented in a staff schedule chart. Do you understand staff schedule chart? Yeah. Okay. Are schedules fixed or are your schedules fluctuant? You know, you have different schedules during the week or do you have a fixed schedule? Flexible. It's a flexible schedule? Not okay. <laughs> okay. Who else has a flexible schedule or a fixed schedule? I have a fixed schedule. Fixed schedule, fixed, 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 fixed schedule. schedule. Fixed schedule, okay. Does anybody else have a flexible schedule? Like some days you start in the morning, some days you start in the afternoon? No, not sure. No, it's always the same schedule. For example, me, I work uh, from 5 a.m. to 12.30. That's my fixed schedule. Only tomorrow, Wednesdays, I work from six, from six a.m. to twelve thirty. That's my short day. That's my short day. Okay. Okay. So let's start the class with a warmer, a warm-up question. What is your daily schedule like at work? What is your daily schedule like? at work, okay? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Uh, well, if you ask me, what is your daily schedule like at work? Um, it's pretty much normal, you know, but I always start at 5 a.m. So it's a little bit tired sometimes and it's very calm at the beginning of the day, it's very calm, actually. There are no calls in the call center from 5 to 7 a.m. So I relax a little bit after I try to wake up little by little. <laughs> uh, 
And then I start getting calls at about seven, seven thirty. At that time, at that time, there are more agents, so there's more availability. There is more availability, which means that I have more time available. Okay, there's more time available between calls. And during that time, I prepare classes, I do other stuff, you know, I wake up my kids, my children wake up at eight, sometimes at 8.30 if they, if they have virtual classes. So after that, uh, I, take, I have two breaks of 15 minutes. I only work 7.5 hours. So I finish uh, my schedule at 12.30 p.m. Who organizes the, the staff uh, schedules? There's a department actually in the call center called RT, RT8. RTA, I can't remember what does it stands for. I'll, I'll remember in a minute. Um, and so, what? What is it? <laughs> RTA. Ah, I can't remember. WFM. Or WFM. W, uh -huh, workforce WFM. management, right? Workforce management. That's like, uh, yeah, the department. That's the department. Workforce management. Um, so they are in charge of scheduling the staff, you know, based on the needs, based on a forecast. Hmm. We have many words right now. We said what? Work force management. That's the work workforce management, WFM. And also we said based on the forecast. Do you understand what is a forecast? No? Okay. Get to know the term forecast. Is the prediction, the prediction of traffic in calls, how many oh. calls you will get. Oh, okay. And oh, so on. Uh, like the weather, right? It's predicting. Predicting what will happen, right? Okay, so they are the ones in charge of determining um, who's going to be on what schedule, what schedules are available, how many people they need for each interval, for each interval of time. Okay, so let's talk about this. Ask your classmate, hey, what is your your daily schedule like at work? What do you usually do, you know, in between times? And who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your work, comp in your company? Okay, it's just two questions. Let's practice together. Remember, you must talk. Don't stay quiet with your classmates, okay? Okay. Let's do it. Hello. Hi. your daily schedule like at work okay uh, mm, uh, yeah okay uh, uh, my work schedule is monday to friday from 8 in the morning to uh, 5 in the afternoon okay and you alexander in my case, I have to work um, from 7 a.m. to 
5 p.m. In my case, is uh, my work is on Monday and Saturday, and from to 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. is um depend and the cirurgies the emergency. Okay. Uh, William, what is your daily schedule like at work? My case is um, a regular schedule. I start working at 8 a.m. and I finish working at 5 p.m. I have a Get lunch. I, I send email. I write report. I finish work at five PM. Okay, nice. Okay, well, in my case, uh, every day is I, I, I get up in my, it uh, 8 a.m. And the first thing I do at uh, that time is organize my workers' work um, because I give them the medical bills uh, to enter into the system. And then at 9 a.m., I, I drink a coffee and I eat my bread at 9 a.m. <laughs> at 10, or oh, yes, 10 a.m., I check the medical insurance statistic. Um, at 11 a.m., I create medical voucher. And then... I eat, I eat my lunch and uh, after lunch at 1 p.m. Um, I meet with the doctor uh, to verify employees' medical bills or medical claims. And usually between 2, two to 4 p.m. I create one more time, medical vouchers. And that is the, my day. Okay. And the, the last, who is in share? I'm sorry. Next question. Hi, yeah. Who is in charge of organizing staff shells in your company? Well, in my company, it's my boss. Uh, he, she is Astrid Rodriguez. Oh, his name is Astrid Rodriguez. Oh, her name is, but I'm sorry, her name. Her name yes, is her Astrid. name. I'm sorry, DJ, I confused with it's his okay. name here. <laughs> so, yes, my boss is in charge. In, in my case, or uh, like I said, uh, there, there are to fix the schedule, the schedule, the schedule. <laughs> and, and we, all the co-workers have a different time for, for have lunch, for, for having lunch, creo que sería, having lunch. And, and the, uh, the, we, we don't have a, a department of, of in charge of that, so uh, my 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 boss that does the the schedule for for each employee and uh, uh, all, all the, the the two the two schedule are fixed in all time, so that never change. Never changes. Changes. Okay. That, that that's it all. Okay. 
Juan and Fátima. What about in the afternoon and and Sundays? But okay. sometimes I I took to go. Yeah, I know. I, I, I go. Sometimes I go. I, I didn't get that. The last. Uh, sometimes I don't go. Quise, quise, quise decir, mm -hmm. a veces tengo que ir. Sometimes I have to go. Uh, uh, I have. I have. Mm -hmm. To go. Okay. Mm. Uh, um, who is in charge of? Organizing charge. a staff schedule in your company. Carolina. In charge of organizing. In charge of organizing. Let's do it together. Look, who is in charge? Mm -hmm. Who is in charge of organizing? Of organizing staff. 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 Schedules. Schedules. Correct. Schedules in your company. Now in you your do company. it. Do it one more time. Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Yeah, you did it again. Charge. <laughs> charge. 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 Uh -huh. Charge. But, it, but what is the main charge? A cargo. Eh, encargado? Oh. In, ¿Quién está a cargo? Who is in charge? Uh, uh, right. you, can, you can actually ask, hey, who's in charge? Okay. Who's in charge here? Charge. Who's the boss? Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, um, in my workplace, workplace uh, is my boss, man, the manager. Um, human resource. Okay. What about you? Uh, in my case, I am in charge of organizing staff schedule because I am a secretary. I have to do that. Charge. <laughs> no. Charge. <laughs> Charge. So you organize the schedules yes oh. i have to organize schedule uh, of staff. about about all employees yes all employees and i have to organize schedule uh, of my boss mm. yeah it's, it's different like agenda yes oh yes. See, yes, wow, my, my thought, and I review again if I have pending emails or pending trainings, and then I continue working on, on cases. At the end, I finished my job as, as I mentioned before at 6, 6 p.m sometime because sometime I have to do another things or another ta task and at the end I take 10 or 30 minutes more. Okay, um, sometimes. Time, it's time or times? Sometimes you were. Times, okay, talking, okay. You were talking in plural and then um, sometimes I have to do other things. Another thing, other things. What is the correct one? Both. Another thing, other thing. things. With S at the end. Yeah. Sometimes I have to do other stuff, other things. I don't know why when I try to to remember the other way to say the um, things. Uh, I'm not able to to get what is the other word. Word. You tend to. Why. You tend to forget. You usually forget. I don't know what happened, but 
Yeah, but it's stuff. 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 Yeah, stuff. Stuff. I forget how to say stuff. Okay. Okay. Who is in so charge of we'll organizing the stuff organize. schedule in your company? Uh, Organ organize. Organizing. Organizing stuff schedule in your company. Is the, the team for WFN? WFM. W is the staff that is the staff in charge to organize my schedule and also my supervisor? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, that um, I think that Johnny missed to to respond to that to that question, right? Yeah. In my in my case, it's <laughs> a, a political about the, the action or activity that I'm going to do during the week. For example, I had to determine Monday. I had Monday, I had to check all the credit. And Tuesday, I had to I had to check all the cashier. And Wednesday, I had to to check uh, expenses. All the all the how you say super I don't know. <laughs> Branch or that's how you say super branch or branches. Branch or branches. Branch. Uh -huh. I had to check the expenses of that branch. Or what branch? Branch. Branch. And 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 that is the best special. I had to definite in that little. And it can be and different, I can do different activities. Only my box uh, determine and determines that I had determine that I had to check other other activities because it's necessary. But only had to I can do that. Give me that instruction. At the end, only your boss um, decides your schedule. Yeah, only my box. But the box is the owner, the, or is the, the, the general the manager owner of the of the company. The, the company. Okay. In the, I can because the other branch Branches. has a independent manager, and that manager I had to to you have to ask, ask for the ask so for. so every time they move you from branch, you have to ask them to assign you a schedule. Yeah. Mm. How often do do they? Uh, move you from branch and every month I move different branch a, every month I'm at different I'm at different branches every month yeah. I'm at different branches excellent good what do you what do you do Johnny I were in a bank oh okay good good that makes sense okay let's go back Okay, that was fast. Good, good job. You came back really quick. Okay. Okay, guys, let's move on. Good job talking about your schedule. I think you liked this topic, right? This was an easy topic. 
Okay, let's take turns practicing this conversation with a classmate. It's so short. It's a very short conversation. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. All right. Again, all right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until, until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Reminder. One more time. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Can you do it? Let's see if you can do it easily. I'm going to choose two of you. Um, let me do that by hand this time. Miguel Angel Paz and Sandra Elizabeth. <laughs> Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right, all right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Good. Okay, I know this word. Schedule. One more time. Schedule. 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 All right. So you say. Ske Joel. Ske Joel. Ske Joel. There you go. Schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Jenny. Jenny, whatever. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I meant to right. underline. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hey. Miguel, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Okay, 11 a.m. You got it, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. You got it. Okay, so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. The afternoon. <laughs> so the you... afternoon. Try to read all this sentence at once, Miguel, so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Oh, very close. Yeah. Until. 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 There you go. Until 6 p.m. Okay. Reminder. Sandra? Re, re, reminder. 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 Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's practice, guys. So when we come back, I will choose a few couples to see how you do it, okay? Okay, let's do it. Don't forget. Repeat, 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 repeat. Don't stop talking. Let's go.
Hello, teacher. Now that I remember. Uh -huh. Roberto <laughs> Luis. Okay, don't worry. Let me send you with another group, okay? Oh. Uh, one hour before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, I'm starting at 8 a.m. Ah, okay. Uh, Isela, uh, Ruben, and me, Jenny, and... and then we can switch. But uh -huh. I don't have. Ah, okay. He already sent the, the picture. Just a moment. How come you don't have the book? Ah. <laughs> it is because I have a lot of information on my on my cell phone because mm. uh, since we are working from home, sometimes the agents uh, have issues with the with the system, so. Sometimes they they send the the picture with with the with the system issues because we need to re, we need to report that issues and we need to those, have a proof those issues and we need yeah. to have proof. Okay, okay. Try to delete them as soon as you send them and that's it. Uh, I know yeah. it's very difficult. Okay. okay. So I'm going to be Ruben. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. Schedule. 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 And then let's talk at Jenny. All right, sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay, you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thank you for the reminder. Reminder. Reminder, sorry, reminder. Reminder, okay. Okay, thanks. So now, Okay, now you will be Ruben and I'm going to be Jenny. Okay, okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start a covering for Gladys as the host today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve it for the rest of the afternoon until uh, 6 p.m. Uh, okay, Seria, so that you can serve. You can serve. Um, Ah, uh, sí, 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 yes, 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 so that you can serve it for the right. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You, ha you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for a reminder. For the reminder. For the re reminder. That's okay, teacher. Reminder. 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 Okay. Okay, let's check the schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. 
Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. 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 Mm -hmm. Reminder. Thanks for that reminder. That's yeah. right. Okay, let's change couples. Da, 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 da. Corin in progress. Okay, let's change couples. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I know that I that I, I miss four class, four class, okay? Four what class. if I miss one more class? Oops. <laughs> you should talk to Elena in the group, in the WhatsApp group, Miss Elena. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, Rina, Elvin. Uh. Oh. Are you connected in computer? Because I am connected with my cell phone. Okay. Connected. Connected. Thank you. Nothing. Uh, one moment, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can share. Can anybody share? Is that needed? It's on your WhatsApp. <laughs> it's very no. short. It's a very short conversation. Okay. I'm going to start. Okay. Oh, Sandra. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Yanni. Schedule. schedule. Sandra or oh, one. Okay. All right. Juan, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. You have to start covering for oh. Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thank you for the reminder. Okay. Then start again. Change the roles. again, 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 again. Ruben. Uh, no. Um, 
que lo que dice mal aquí. Ok. Start. Can you start, Sandra? Okay. You are Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for ladies at the hostess today from night to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Remember. Thanks for remember. the reminder. Okay. Reminder. Reminder. Okay. Cambio. Uh, me. Uh, teacher, una consulta. Okay. Let's take your schedule for today. Uh, este, will do ahí. es como, es una expresión o es, ¿y qué significa exactamente? Will do, lo haré, lo voy a hacer. Eso voy a hacer, ¿cómo? Lo haré. Lo haré. Will okay. do. Es que do. yo dijera, me dicen, lo voy a hacer. I will do. So le quito el. Yeah, will do. Pero aquí um, le quitan solo como la primera persona. Solo el, will sujeto, do. el sujeto. El sujeto, más bien. Ajá, más bien. Sujeto. Will do, right? Will do. Will do okay. Es como decir así será. Está bueno, está bueno, está bueno. Yeah, right. Está bueno, está bueno. That's right. Está bueno, pues. Gracias por recordarme. Está bueno, está bueno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's set your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Vladis after, after today from 9 to 11 a.m. And you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do rain. Thanks for the remind for the reminder. Okay. Schedule. Okay. Cabal. Ya, si lees la es lo de schedule. Ya ahorita me lo aprendí porque leí cómo es la pronunciación. Estoy leyendo la pronunciación. <laughs> schedule. Schedule. Yo. Schedule. 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 No, 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 sin D al final. Schedule. Schedule. Si fuese el sonido D al final, sería el pasado. Schedule. Ah, ok. Schedule. Es cierto. Schedule. Schedule. Es chistoso porque en mi trabajo estoy haciendo un módulo de reminders ahorita. Ya que estoy viendo un montón de reminders. Recording in progress. The sexy boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Or, I don't like her at all. Okay, let's have two of you practicing the conversation. I would like to listen to um, victims. Did she go, no, 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 no. Someone who doesn't talk much, Carla Ivania, Carolina. Okay, teacher. Um. Okay, Carla Ivania and Mire Carolina. Okay, ready? Okay, yes. Okay. Wait, Miriam, Carolina. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, That's good. I am Ruben. <laughs> okay. Let's check your schedule today for today, Jenny. 
you have uh, arrived. You have to start covering for Gladys. As the hostess today from 9 to 11 p.m. I am. <laughs> then you can go to lunch. You have to be back. Uh, you have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve it for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Okay. We'll do, Ruben. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, yes, I can say thank you for the reminder or thanks for the reminder. Good. Okay, um, let's repeat. Um, you say all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Easy. Okay. Uh, and yes, it was a.m. not p.m. A.m. Okay. <laughs> Repeat from 9 a.m. I'm sorry, from 9 to 11 a.m. From 9 to 11 a.m. From 9 to 11 a.m. 11? 11? A.M. A.M. Okay, there you go. And then you say serve. 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 Repeat. Serve. You can serve. You can serve. 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 There you go. You serve. Serve. Uh -huh. serve. You can serve. Aye. Afternoon. 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 Noon. Afternoon. Okay. Until. 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 Till. Until. There you go. Until. 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 Until 6 p.m. There you go. Okay. And um, Miriam, we say thanks. Thanks. Um, Thanks. Sam. Thanks. Sam. Ok. Sí, tendemos a decir thanks. Estamos acostumbrados a eso. Uh -huh. so, le, vamos a hacer como que soplamos Sam. una Z. Thanks. 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 Ok. Um, Sam. Y cor, corrijamos esto porque en el chat he visto que alguien, bueno, alguna vez ponía por ahí. Um, ponía thank, thanks you. Thanks you. O solo digo thanks o digo thank you en singular. Thanks y nada es al final. Thank you. Thank you. O thanks en general. Thank thanks. Así como está en el ejemplo. Thanks teacher. Thanks Carlos. Thanks María. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Sin nada ese. Ok. Solo corregir eso. Ok. Uh, Miriam, can you select someone and... Um, the same, Claudia. Please select someone. Miriam, and Carolina, and Claudia. Please select someone. Ivani, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's check your schedules for today. Uh, oh, no, wait. Um, select okay. someone. Miguel. Carly, Ivani, I'm sorry. Can you select someone? someone? Miguel. Miguel, okay. Miriam, Carolina, select someone, please. Uh, William. Okay, Miguel and William. Let's go. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m., then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. A lot better. Thank you. Now let's repeat. Schedule. 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 Perfect. Okay. Hey, you go. You say nine. Sorry? You say nine. 
Nine. Uh -huh. nine. Ah, nine. Yeah, nine. It's nine. Uh, no, ok. Va, todos. Uh, vamos a hacer un ejercicio súper rápido de pronunciación. Necesito que te pongas los dedos sobre la nariz. Y ahí te de los, ok. Ahora va, vas a... Ouch, ouch, ouch. El micrófono de alguien ahí se cayó. Ouch. Ok. Este sonido que vas a hacer ahorita, aunque no lo creas, es muy importante y todos, hasta a mí me pasa, yo no pronuncio bien algunas palabras y bien me refiero al americano, al nativo, ¿ok? Ojo, decir niño sosteniendo tu nariz. Y no se puede, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde está la ñ? ¿Dónde quedó la ñ? Ese es un sonido nasal. Pues esa sensación que tenés ahí tiene que salir Tenés que sentir eso al decir nine, nine. En este caso, la punta de tu lengua queda en el cielo de la boca. Nine, nine. ¿Oí? Ahí lo soltás y suena nine. Ok, Miguel, again, nine. 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 Cuidado, nine. eh, Ajá, porque puedo, puedo, puedo usar el sonido al final y ah, estaría mal. Nine. 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 Ok. Nine. Nine. Ahí, perfecto. Nine. 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 Better. Nine. nine. ¿Por qué es importante el, el sonido? Porque lo haces muchísimo, o deberíamos de hacerlo, más bien dicho, al decir, por ejemplo, how do you read this word? Pronunciation. Perfect. Pronun pronunciation pronunciation perfect deja de decir pronunciation no, es pronunciation más complejo un poquito más complejo Corten. ajá Alexander, very good, ¿cómo fue Alexander? Corten. Yo, a mí se me sale decir courting también. Eh, eh. Oigan, Alexander. Courting. Ah, come on. Courting. No, lo estabas haciendo bien. Es courting. Courting. Mírame, mírame, courting. Eso es como. Courting. Mountain. 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 Es difícil. Mountain. Uh -huh. Listen, mountain. 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 There you mountain. go. There you mountain. go. Mountain. 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 Very good. Corton. 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 Mountain. Corton. Okay. Entonces te enfocas. Eh, queda por ahí eh, en la boca el sonido. It's weird, ok, eso es inglés nativo, ok, no decís mountain, courting, de courting, courting, mountain, mountain, pronunciation, mountain, there you go, mountain, ok, next, cuando tenés la T entre dos vocales suena a, suena a, Estoy diciendo R, E muchas veces. Ok. Go to. Go to lunch. Go to lunch. Go to lunch. Go to lunch. Go to church. Go to church. Go to the beach. Go to work. Ok. There you go. Um, el artículo THE suena a the antes de una vocal. The afternoon. The apple. Y en cambio suena, y en cambio suena a the si va antes de una consonante. ¿Ok? The Bible. Mm. The church. The rest. The house. The restaurant. ¿Ok? The doctor. The beach. Ok, just don't forget that. The afternoon. The afternoon. Antes de una vocal es D. Y claro, si algo es muy importante, lo puedo pronunciar como D. Por ejemplo, los americanos violan esta regla, pues la palabra United 
son, empieza con una vocal, pero el sonido es consonante. You, you. Es la consonante J. Ok, y dicen the United States of America. The United States of America. Ok, ojo con eso. Jamás se les olvida el artículo al decirlo en americano. The United States of America, porque si no se va a enojar. Ok, es como que te digan, ah, tú eres de Salvador. Right? Ok, good. Hope it worked. Espero que les haya servido sus tips pequeñitos. Ok. Let's continue. I have to do the attendance one more time. It's 9.01. It's 9 o'clock on a Tuesday. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Claudia. Okay. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present, teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sabrina estaba por ahí. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present teacher. Explicaba a Juan Marcos que porfa se contacte con Miss Elena ahí en el chat del uh -huh. grupo para que ella se encargue de darle instrucciones ahí sobre cómo proceder. Ok. Let's okay. move it. Ok. Let me check really quick. <laughs> The girl is trying to sleep. Huh? Someone's trying to sleep the baby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. If that works. How old is she? It's my little niece. How old is she? Or hey, niece? Okay. How old is she? Really, I'm, I'm wondering. Uh, oh, Juan Marcos, how, how old is she? Oh, it's two years, two years old. Two years or three? No, two, two years. Two. two. Yeah. Wait, two or three? <laughs> two years. <laughs> two, two. Yes, two, three. <laughs> like, what? Okay, hey, try this. Try this. Dígale que trate eso. Okay. okay. No, usted no, el bebé, usted se me va a dormir. No. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> que, le, que le haga despacio, caricia acá en esa parte. A mí me funcionó okay. con mis tres hijos eso, no sé. Una doctora. Ya, okay. yeah. hacer ese, <laughs> esa pequeña, hacerle caricia acá en medio. Más que todo Exercise. funciona con bebés. Ya, yeah. es sí. a, a relaxing thing. Ok, let's go. So, building vocabulary. Let's match the names of the staff members to the right descriptions. Executive chef, listen, executive chef, executive chef, server, server. Executive chef. Server. Server. Uh -huh. server. Uh, be careful, don't say server, you say server, server, server. Host, host, hostess, hostess. Host. Okay. Again, host, hostess. Kitchen, kitchen, 
cuidado con esa palabra, kitchen. no digan chicken, es kitchen, kitchen, kitchen manager, kitchen manager, kitchen manager, cashier, 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 hmm. cashier, está en la segunda sílaba del estrés, cashier, igual que en kitchen, 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 manager, manager, Okay, I'm just gonna read this and then you're going to do it in groups. The person handling payments in a restaurant. The person handling payments in a restaurant. A person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, staff and food standards and food standards. A person who hires staff, oh, a person who hires staff, no haces una pausa entre hires y staff. Solo continúa con el sonido de la S. A person who hires staff purchases food, purchases food and makes sure and makes sure everyone is trained. Trained. Uh -huh. No quiero escuchar trained, okay? Trained. Y eso es algo que tú, tú en intermedio ahorita, tenés que practicar todos los días los verbos en pasado, los verbos regulares en pasado. Ojo, eh, trained. Segunda regla de pronunciación de, la, de los verbos regulares en pasado. Trained, okay. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. Last, a person who greets arriving guests. Oh, guests. A person yeah. who greets and uh, I'm okay. A person who greets arriving guests welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. Let me try faster. A person who greets arriving guests, welcome them. Ya me equivoco. Yeah, it's very simple. A person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. Wow. Okay. Hmm. And you think you can twist practice? It. Like a twist on. Twist it's, a, it's like a, yeah, tongue twister. Tongue it's twister. Like, tongue <laughs> twister, yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. May sound like a tongue twister. Okay. Discuss with your group. What is what? What is what? Let's go. Hello, Yoni. Hello, people. How are you? Good. Mr. William. We need to answer, you, right? Yeah. Can you share that? Okay. Who, who can share that? Okay, share. Next. Share. 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 Chair, chair, chair is where you where you sit. Chair sings. Do you believe in love? That love. Okay, that's chair. Okay. Share. Share, share, share. <laughs> there you go. Share, share. 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 Yeah. Okay, keep going, keep going. Okay, the first. The person handling payments in a restaurant. Cashier. 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 Okay, a person in shares of creating menus. Mm. Managing kitchen staff and put the standards. Executive chef. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Executive chef. Here. A person Are you sure? Number two. Executive chef. Yeah. Person who hires staff. Person who can make sure every 
It's strange. Kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. Manager? Yeah. A waitress. A wait. No, a waiter. A waitress who attend customer with food and drink. Server. Server. Purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained. Um, a person who hires staff purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained. Training. Please. Is a kitchen manager? Kitchen, kitchen manager. Kitchen. Yes. Kitchen manager, that is for. That's mm. what is a. Ah, executive chef. Wow. One. A writer or a tender customer. With. A waiter or wait, but waitress who attends customer with food and drink. Um, a waiter or waitress, 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 a waiter or waitress who attends what customers tennis? with food and drink. Server. 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 Yes. A person who greets arriving guests, guest, guest. Yes. Welcome then into the restaurant and sits them. Sits them. System. Sits them. Uh, host. A person. Uh -huh, host. A person who greets arriving guests. Welcome then into the restaurant and sits them. Sits them. Sits them. Gran esfuerzo. <laughs> yes, host. Si sí, es que hasta, hasta la aprieta los, las manos uno por querer pronunciar bien. Sí. Pasa. Ah. All right. No le había puesto mucha atención a esa palabra y a, hace unos años había un video de, de una, una mujer que se, eh, entrevistaba a un niño y le decía un montón de cosas y el niño solo le respondía, me gustan las tortugas en inglés. Y, 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 o sea, I like turtles, le dice el niño. Y ella, le, él, él, él estaba preguntando un montón de cosas y el niño solo le dice, I like turtles. Y ella le dice, all right. Yo pensé que le decía, all right, pero ahí entiendo que le dice, como que está bien y se, está en right. entrevista en vivo. All right. Ajá, uh -huh. Ahora entiendo que eso es lo que le está diciendo. No, no, all right. Yo, yo separaba all right. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Okay, ready? Did you do it? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, good. Let me see. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Okay, let's go back. Recording a stop. Teacher is recording. <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay. Wow. What happened, teacher? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just checking the plan, but that kind of 
I don't know. Let's keep going with the plan. Um, so what were your findings? Who is the executive chef? Uh, do me a favor. Can you grab a sticker from your tools and just put a sticker to the item that you believe is the executive chef? Who's the executive chef? Put a sticker on the executive chef. Go ahead. A person in charge of the creative menu managing the chef. Kids. Miguel uh, Angel says a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. Yes. Okay, is the yes, executive chef the person handling payments in a restaurant? Mm. Mm. Okay, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. Executive chef, what do you think? How, how do you think that an executive chef may look like? How would you expect an executive chef to look like? Come on, people in intermediate, describe for me. I want you to picture an executive chef right now and tell me. Uh, a person like, that, that a wears a, a, a nice suit and a big hat in form of... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I don't, a cup, a, I don't. A cup, something like a cup hat. Yes, a yes, cup hat. Okay, like a nice suit and a cup hat. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Like a, uh -huh. like a regular person. A regular person. Okay. Yeah. He wears a white turban on his head. <laughs> a white turban on the head. With the person with well, it depends, right? If it is a if it is a <laughs> Taliban <laughs> restaurant or. <laughs> It's a, it's a Middle East restaurant, a Middle East restaurant. Okay. But physically, is, it, is he fat or thing? Is it a man or a woman? Showing. <laughs> Showing. Yeah, because it's a man. A man. Okay. Hey, because he has to check the food standards. So he has to try, try the food all the time. Do you remember Ratatouille? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. that? Do you remember the executive chef was a fat guy with a mustache? Right. Okay. I remember the executive chef from Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Quasimodo. Yeah, yeah, that was Quasimodo, right? Yeah. That was crazy. Okay, good. Who's the server? A waiter or waitress. A waiter or a waitress. waitress. Good, Carlevania, yes. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. Perfect. Okay. That's true. I agree with you. Okay. Um, have you ever seen a fat server, a fat waiter? Not really. Not yeah. very. It's, it's not often. Not, it's not common. Yeah. Yes. It's not common. I mean, a man, a waiter. What about a waitress? Yeah. That's yeah. more. That's uh, more common. That's more common. No, no, it's yeah? not. It's not common. Yeah, that's but common. Now yeah. I have a question for you. Why? Why is it not common to see a fat uh, waiter or waitress? Because some uh, company has different standards. Have about it. Some companies uh, have different has. standards about the appearance, the appearance of exactly. their of their servers. Perfect. Okay, let's go with number three: host or hostess. Hey, solo Alexander escucha, señores. ¿Qué onda? Okay. Person who greets arriving guests. Oh, come on, greets. Greets arriving guests. Arriving guests. Welcome them to the restaurant and sits them. And sits sits them. Sits them. Sits them. Sits them. Sits them. Very good. Okay. The kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. Kitchen a person manager. who hires staff 
No, Practice trust test. Person who is higher staff for chase food and makes sure ah. everyone is trying yes. it. Chain manager. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Who hires staff. Yeah, right? Yeah, he's the one of, in charge of hiring staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Hmm. Okay. Do you think that the kitchen manager could be in charge of creating menus? Managing kitchen staff and food standards, the kitchen manager? <gasps> because the executive chef, hmm, this is confusing, right? It could be one or the other. One is in charge of the whole thing. No, that, that's okay. We're we're fine. But it's the just the, yeah. <laughs> because in yeah, because in an executive chef hires staff. Hmm. Doubts in there. Mm. Okay, cashier. The person handling the person handling payments in the restaurant. The restaurant who you pay for your order. That's right. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Let's keep going. Okay. Now we have to discuss these questions, and this is a little bit like what? Wait. When does Jenny start? When does Jenny's shift start? When does Jenny's shift start? Man, when does Jenny's shift start? This is complicated. Jenny's shift Jenny's start. start. <laughs> when does Jenny she's start? <laughs> yeah. She's Jenny's start. shift Jenny's start. When does Jenny's shift start? Jenny's start. Jenny's start. start. Esto es como cuando cuarta y metes tercera. Man, Jenny's shift, 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 start. When does Jenny's shift start? No. When does Jenny's shift when start? When does Jenny's shift start? You got it, Justin, you got it. When does Jenny's shift start? When does Jenny's shift start? When does Jenny shift start? No. When does Jenny's shift start? Got it, Justin. Yes. What when does Jenny's shift start? When does uh, when does Jenny shift start? When does Jenny shift her? When does Jenny Jenny's shift? shift start? Jenny's shift start. Jenny's shift start. Jenny's shift start. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so when does it start? When does Jenny's shift? Start? At nine a.m. Nine a.m. Nine. Nine. Nine to eleven. Nine. Mm. It starts. You have to start going for today from nine. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Yes, 9 a.m. Hmm. What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What does she do? He is the hostess. He is covering for ladies. It's a, it's a, what is suplente? How do you say suplente? How do you say suplente in English? Someone? Mm -hmm. Replace. Replace. Mm, only for articles. Uh, substitute. A substitute. There is a substitute. Yeah. Instead, Gladys, when Gladys doesn't come to work. When anybody doesn't show up, when anybody doesn't show up, uh, she can cover. When somebody or someone uh, doesn't show up to work or needs a permission or someone um, can go to work, then Gladys, I'm sorry, um, Jenny covers covers their schedule. Okay, nine to eleven. Okay, so so she's a hostess and a what? A server, right? Okay, she's a hostess and a server. Okay, um, good. Hostess Yeah. Do you think all restaurants have a hostess? In service. No. No. Not all of the restaurants, right? Yes, yeah. Not all of the restaurants. Okay. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. 
they, they yeah. do, they do. Okay, what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., really? Serve. Oh. Serve, serve, serve. There you go. She has to serve. That's it, she has to serve. Okay. I want you to ask these similar questions to your classmate. How will you do that? No? How would you ask these questions to your classmate? If you have to interview a classmate. Okay, for example, Alexander, what, when does your shift start? When does your shift start? Okay, my shift start at from 7 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. Start. Start. Uh huh. At what time your shift start? From from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. It starts at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay, it starts at 7 a.m. Okay. What's your job? What's your job in your company? Well, actually, I am an agent. I'm an agent. I'm an agent. I'm, I'm, an, I'm agent. an agent. I'm an agent. I'm an agent. You got it. I'm an agent. <laughs> I'm an agent. Okay. Uh, so what do you do in your schedule? Taking calls. I take calls. I take calls yeah. the whole shift. I take calls my whole shift. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. So you see, it's just like a, a quiz, right? A survey that you're going to conduct on your classmate, but I would like you to add one more question. What's your favorite part of your day, of your work day? What's your favorite part of your work day? For example, my favorite part of my work day is when the shift is over. <laughs> because I finish, I, at, <laughs> I finish at 12 30, you know, and I have to eat. I mean, <gasps> I want to eat. Okay. That's my favorite okay. part of my shift. Okay, so let's get together. It's four questions. It's just a conversation to get to know your classmates' schedule and likes about their schedule. Okay, are we clear? Yeah. Yes. Simple. Keep it a conversation, please. And then we will split you again so we can continue and get to know someone else. Okay, let's go. Um, the question, the partner, no? This could mm -hmm. be quite yes, it's applied when... in my life. <laughs> uh, I want to know in your case, Ada, in my what case. do you, yes, what do you, oh, what do I you, schedule in my what? work, uh, chef's, chef's in, my favorite, in my favorite um, schedule in my work is a, a rest, a, take a, a drink coffee. Break. <laughs> Break. Break. And the shift. afternoon? The afternoon is, is um the afternoon. The afternoon. The afternoon is is uh, go to the clinic. In the afternoons I go to the clinic. 
I will go to the clinic is the más tranquila la, el movimiento, ¿cómo diría? Más tranquilo todo. Okay, um, everything is calmer. Everything is calmer. Is it, everything is calmer. It's calmer, calmer, it's calm, calmer. Mm -hmm. Everything is calmer. Uh, and in my case, uh, uh, my schedule it's from eight a.m. to four thirty p.m. And my favorite. Uh, Yes, at my work day, it's the break time. The break time, or when I finish my my pendants work works activities. Um, but in this case, maybe you can use the the do or asking for what the people. Um, mm -hmm. doing. I don't know. In my case, I'm a um, logistics supervisor. I'm in charge of do this the special for the truck drivers, and I'm I'm in charge of uh, assign. Okay, I'm in charge of doing. I'm in charge of assigning. I'm in charge of assigning. I'm in charge, in charge of. I'm in charge of doing um, the schedule of the drivers. Um, what, what else? Um, I, when I use an ING is in those cases. Or, after, or, after the position of, I'm in charge ah, of okay. assigning of talking in public i'm in charge of i i need to use the infinitive in those in that the case. uh the gerund the gerund if you say i have to yes i have to assign uh, i have to direct direct i have to manage yep a mistake <laughs> and a nuking mistake yeah it's okay don't worry uh, okay um in all day i'm had i have to to organize the the drivers and give the routes routes for, routes for uh, like twenty four hours. And um, in your case, do you yeah. keep do you keep track of the drivers through GPS or ways or? Um, yeah. at, at least there is a department that uh, they uh, is in charge of tracking the, the driver, they just call me and say uh, if something is wrong or they have some kind of trouble on the, on, on the, on the, the road. In the route, in the route. In the route. Okay. And you, Yoselin? Well, um, I am a customer service agent. I need to pay calls the whole day. Sometimes I have a meeting with my buff. I had the meeting with quality. And sometimes I work. The moment, the moment to, to go to, to go, to go back to your home. Mm. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's the best. When the, to, to go back home. It's the, to, to go back clubs. home. Buy a club. What do you do yeah. when you, I mean, are you working at home, Johnny? No? So you have to go to work every day and then come back home. Every day I had to, I had to travel. You have to travel. Okay, so what do you do after going out of work? 
What's your favorite thing to do when you go out of work? Um, watch TV <laughs> and read. Read. I like to read. You like to read in the bus? Yeah. I always I say uh, uh, example that I like to read the uh, bubble. Bible. The Bible. The Bible, the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And I had a English book, so. Okay. I read a little. Oh. Awesome. And I sleep. <laughs> I sleep. You like to sleep. Okay. Okay. Let's change couples to continue the conversation. Okay, teacher. Yeah. So please tell mm -hmm. me, when does your chief start? Uh, my, my chief start in the company uh, the night I am of uh, uh, my shift starts at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Two, 5 p.m. Ah, no, no, no. You don't need to say two. Okay. If I ask you what's your schedule, then yes, my schedule is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. At what time does your shift start? What time does your shift start? Oh, it starts at 7 a.m., 9 a.m., yeah? Uh, a.m. At what time, okay. what time does your shift end? What time does your shift end? Oh, it ends at 5 p.m. Got it? Okay, let's recreate the groups and do it one more time. Remember, it's an interview, it's a conversation to get to know your classmates, okay? Let's okay. go. How are you guys? Okay, let's start with the questions. Um, okay. Uh, what time does your shift begins? Begins. Begins. Juan Marcos. Okay. Do you want, do you want... I start I start my my day at eight a.m. Eight, 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 eight a.m. Eight a.m. from five p.m. from wait Please. from from I start my shift at eight a.m. Yo empiezo mi horario a las nueve de la mañana. That's it. What time does your shift end? Oh, my shift ends at 5 p.m. Mi horario termina a las 5 p.m. That's it. Okay. Okay. What's okay. your schedule? ¿Cuál es tu horario? What's your schedule? Oh, my schedule is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Juan Marcos, what do you do in your job? Of, I am a, a debt collect. I collect the payment from the people. Um, a lot of people are angry, <laughs> maybe. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Most wow. of the people hate me. <laughs> okay. Um, and you? In my case, is a, yeah, I'm a supervisor. Um, and oh. I'm a, in a logistic company and my schedule is from 8 
A A A A N. How can I pronounce that? I it's like a. A A M. And there you go. There you go. Eight A.M. Do it again, Juan. Eight A.M. Eight A.M. Eight A.M. Okay, it's kind of difficult when you link all the sounds. With the practice, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, it ends at four 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 thirty p.m. Uh, that's to from. Uh, but that's from the afternoon and you work. The afternoon. The afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, you work. Um, answer call, check the email, uh, review the paper. Is variable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you? <laughs> it varies. It varies. I mean. <laughs> Is burn? Excuse me. It varies. It varies. Yeah. Mm. It varies. 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 Mm. Okay. Um, Rene, when do you when do you chief start? My uh, chief start at nine a.m. My shift starts at at at, at, at nine a.m. 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 What do you do, Rene? Uh, my work. My work is uh, uh, planning, 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 planning uh, every day. Uh, the review, the plan, the training, the applet. Okay. What is your position in the workplace? At your workplace. In the workplace. In the workplace, the, the, the hardware, the position or the place? Uh, again, okay. uh, The hardware, the position or the place? No, the no, position. no, your position. The, your position in the work. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The position in the work is coach prime. Okay. Um. Okay. Moment, please. Okay. What that uh, from the afternoon or what that from uh, ah. what that what that's from one PM to six PM uh, check mail uh, review review Plan, plan, um, okay. uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Finish? Yeah. It's a finish. <laughs> okay. We're okay. done. We're done. Uh, Repeat, we are done. We are done. Terminamos, okay. We, we are, are done. done. We are done. We're done. We are done. It's yeah. on your, it's we're on your done. chat. It's on your chat. Ah, we are oh. done. Okay, yeah, we're done. done, that's it? Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Oh, okay.
Okay, oh. let's go back. Muito obrigado. <laughs> Muito obrigado. What was that? I can't remember. Thank you. No, I know. No, it's not Brazilian. That's uh, Portuguese. Portuguese. Ah, Portuguese. 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 Okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. I would like to learn French. Learn English first. Everybody, yeah. everybody. Don't yeah. get, don't okay. get, don't get. No, 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 really. Don't get your life complicated. I have seen, I, that's a trend. You know what is a trend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a trend between kids right now. They want to learn three, four languages yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Guess what is going to happen when you start learning another language? Then you learn <laughs> English and then you learn Chinese. Konnichiwa. I mean, <laughs> got it yeah you're gonna get complicated i mean that's why i started learning german because i love germany and but it was too much but i i heard that when you are able to uh, handle another a second language you are going to be able to to get another language easily if you practice them together yes but uh, it's discipline it's discipline mm -hmm. and it is it is acquired from childhood if they taught you speaking different languages from your childhood for example if they tell you chair see ya mijo i do a chair see ya and and whatever the other language is you know then you're listening three different things okay and even that way is difficult for kids okay. my kids don't speak english a kind of i know they can speak english but they don't like to to do it no <laughs> and i never i never force them you know to speak english okay nowadays nowadays they're like ah, teachers teachers and i'm like i have no time sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. that was weird we need a sticker we need a sticker don't worry <laughs> what? We need okay. a sticker for WhatsApp. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, let me go with Johnny. Where's Johnny? Hold on. Where are you, Johnny? I, there you are. Okay. Um, ask. <laughs> okay, Johnny, go ahead. So Johnny is going to make a question to one of you. Just one question, okay? And you have to answer. Then that person is going to ask another classmate and so on, okay? Let's have a conversation. It's a challenge. The question is, the question is, what is there to say about your classmate? What is there to say about your classmate? Of course, we were talking about schedule, their favorite time of the schedule, the favorite part of the schedule. Okay, Johnny, ready? Go. Sure, but I had to ask, ask, ask you, or... her. Ask her, okay. Sabrina, what is there to say about your classmate? Lo siento, acabo de conectarme y no sé qué están haciendo. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Someone else, to someone else, Jenny. Okay. Fatima, what is there to say about your classmate?
Who are you asking? I'm sorry. Fatima. Fatima, okay. Okay. Uh, beautiful people. <laughs> okay, for example, um, well, I talked to um, Johnny and Johnny um, works from, well, Johnny starts his job at 7 a.m. His favorite part of his schedule every day is lunch because he enjoys the food they sell out of his workplace. You know, there's a, an old lady, he said, that sells every day a different dish, you know, pork, meat, sometimes frijoles borrachos, the next day tortas, you know, so Johnny, Johnny loves lunch. He loves eating outside his work. And he finishes work at 5 p.m. He takes the bus. And he likes to read the Bible when he travels back home, for example. Okay, so what is there to say about your classmate? What did you learn about your classmate? Okay, you can also say, I pass and say someone else's name. <laughs> okay, say, I pass. Isela, I pass. Fernando, I pass. Sabrina, I pass. Someone else. Okay, is, go ahead. Is, is there a penalty? <laughs> okay, Fatima, um, if you cannot answer, select someone else to give an answer. Mm. Isela. Okay. Volunteer, someone who wants to speak and learn English um, can answer this question. What is there to say about your classmate? Me, Jocelyn. Thank you, Jocelyn. T tell us about your classmate. Well, I was speaking with Alexander. He mentioned that uh, what does he do at, at the workplace? Uh, is he an agent? He's a customer service agent. He provides support to customer. He works for PlayStation. And his favorite part is when the chief is over, as me, <laughs> because he works for 10 hours. And sometimes he's working from the, he, sorry, sometimes he works in sites and sometimes he works on his home. He mentioned that, or oh, did you mention something else, Alexander, that I didn't include? No, no, it's so good. Okay. Okay, Alexander, the ball is in your court. Um, oh. Jocelyn, your main area, your main area is final sounds. Final sounds. Oh, yes. Be I careful. Know. Final sounds. You can do it. Uh, you corrected yourself. Actually, you said sometime he does that. Da, da, da. Okay, sometimes he does. Good. Sometimes. Okay. Uh huh. Alexander, the ball. And by the way, yeah, that's that's right. Okay, the ball is in your court. Okay. Well, actually, I have another classmate, uh, Alfonso. Yeah, Alfonso. She told he told me that. His chief starts at 8 a.m. He is a coach and he enjoys handling people. Or, yeah, handling or managing people. Yeah. How come? Uh, because he is a coach and he enjoys handling. 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 
handling. Handling. Handling. handling. There you go. Handling. Enjoys handling people. And managing, handling people, routines, and yeah, physics, right? Yeah. Okay, repeat. Coach. Coach. He's a coach. He's a coach. 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 Okay. Coach. Good, Rene. Tell us about your classmate. What is there to say about your classmate? Uh, no remember. <laughs> okay, don't worry. It's okay. Let's close the class here. And tonight I'm staying with Carlevania Cabrera Serrano. So let's me do the attendance one more time. No regaño, señores, pero venimos a esa clase a platicar en inglés. That's it. Sorry, si a veces interrumpo en español cuando creo que es algo muy importante lo que les tengo que decir. So, ojo, eh, no todos estamos al nivel de intermedio uno, pero podemos alcanzarlo súper rápido si nos lo proponemos y si tenemos el deseo de aprender y hacer algo por um, aprender, ¿no? No hay nada peor que la actitud. Ojo con esto, eh, porque eh, si tú tienes actitud eh, en cualquier trabajo, Um, es peligroso, eh. Es lo único con, como gerente no puedes lidiar con una persona con actitud. Um, puede haber deficiencias de aprendizaje que puedes corregir fácilmente si sos un buen gerente, pero um, cuando es un problema de actitud eso es bien difícil. So we will talk about that. Vamos a hablar de eso luego en el siguiente módulo, creo, o en este no sé si viene una parte de training re requirements and so on. Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespin. Alvin, I'm sorry, perdón. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Fátima y Efigenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Arellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Señorita Cabrera Serrano, buenas noches. ¿Cómo está usted? Bien, teacher. Primera <laughs> vez que nos quedamos. Yeah. Sí. Ok. Bien, este espacio es más que todo para que usted eh, pueda eh, um, exteriorizar cualquier duda que aún tenga en cualquier tema gramatical o solicitar consejos sobre qué poder hacer para mejorar en cierto aspecto que usted considere que, que le falta desempeñarse. Um, yo siempre, que es la primera sesión, se me hace en un grupo por primera vez y es la primera sesión, suelo empezar esto, estas sesiones cortas con dos preguntas. La primera es, eh, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés? El background que usted tiene ¿no? con, con el inglés, de dónde ha venido, 
cómo lo has sentido. Y la segunda pregunta es, que, uh, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Aparte de recibir la clase dos horas <coughs> de lunes a viernes, ¿qué más hago para, para practicar el inglés si estoy haciendo algo? Ok. Uh, pues, siento que el inglés se me dificulta bastante. Tal vez lo puedo... Creo que el, mi error es tratar de inter, interpretarlo. No sé si estoy bien. Me cuesta hablarlo. Si no voy a mentir, me cuesta un montón hablarlo. Y al leerlo, entiendo algunas cosas. Igual cuando mis compañeros me hablan, trato de, de identificar lo que ellos me, me están diciendo. De algunas cosas que sí me quedo como perdida. ¿Y qué estoy haciendo? Pues trato de ver artículos en inglés, pero me cuesta un montón. Creo que recurro más a, a la traducción. Ok. ¿Artículos en, escritos o, o videos? Uh, algunos videos, trato de verlos en inglés. Cosas uh -huh. en YouTube o cosas así. Uh -huh. Pero no es mucho realmente. Ok. Um, uh -huh. Todo lo que yo crea que me cuesta, me va a costar. Y mire su vida, o sea, siempre ha sido así. Eh, en mi caso, eh, por mi experiencia desde pequeño, todo lo que yo dije que me iba a hacer difícil, se me hizo uh -huh. difícil. Si digo que algo no, te, no tengo tiempo para hacer algo, es así. Si me siento feo, me veo feo. Si me siento gordo, estoy gordo. Entonces, en serio, es, es, esto es, es la psicología del ser humano, es así. Desde uh -huh. pequeño, desde pequeño se nos van creando traumas, paradigmas que damos por sentado que eso es así. Y sí, pues, salir de ellas. A mí me da mucha pena hablar en inglés. O sea, no sé, creo que se ha visto que yo casi no opino, pero es por lo mismo. Quizás es miedo a equivocarme. Eso es todo. El miedo a, al que dirán, a, a creer que me voy a equivocar. Y desde ahí, pues ya hay una barrera. ¿Cómo voto esa barrera? Láncese, tírese. Si no le va a pasar como muchas alumnas que, que yo he visto en estos programas de, de Insafor, personas ya de 50, 60 años, y ahí están, y ¿sabes? son las que más hablan. O las que más intentan, las que más intentan hablar. A mí me da un gran cariño porque digo, y me dicen, he conocido muchas señoras así, por ejemplo, y, y no se me olvidan, se me quedan grabadas, porque me dicen, mire, si toda la vida he intentado hablar inglés, y ahora uh -huh. que lo estoy hablando, lo estoy hablando bien, y sabe por qué, Le, porque nunca lo hablé, me daba pena, pero tanto estar en las clases, se me quedó. Y ahora que... Ah. Se... <risa> ¿Por, pero ¿por qué pasa eso? Porque usted uh -huh. tiene que entender que hay una diferencia entre lo que su cerebro conoce, su subconsciente ya, ya adquirió. Así, uh -huh. ¿de, ¿de qué módulo está en el programa? Desde el primero, básico. Básico uno. Toda uh -huh. esa información, ahí está. Ahí está uh -huh. en el cerebro. Lo que pasa es que hay que sacarla. ¿Cómo la saco? A ver, para que usted sienta seguridad, lo primero que debe de tener en aprender cualquier idioma es vocabulario. Uh -huh. Ok. Lo primero, la base es el vocabulario. Antes de la clase estaba viendo un video sobre Rachel's, Rachel's English. Me encanta cómo habla ella. Porque he aprendido que ustedes articulan en base a lo que ven del teacher. Uno, dos. Así como hablo español, voy a hablar inglés. <risa> ella, ella es políglota y me encanta verla hablar alemán, español, francés e inglés, son cuatro idiomas que ella domina ella habla español. sí dije español, bueno cada idioma que ella habla lo articula y se le ve en la boca como enrolla la lengua y todo entonces eh, me inspira eso y decía ahora en ese video que estaba viendo, la base es el vocabulario, si lo único que tenés que hacer decía era mirar a tu alrededor, yo siempre les he dicho esto a los estudiantes paso uno, agarro disciplina porque hasta ahora no le he tenido a mí me pasaba uh -huh. no desorganizado yo con, mi, con mi vida incluso 
sacaba siete, ocho, o así sea, pasé mis materias de tercer ciclo, bachillerato todavía, ya en la U sí intenté hacer lo posible por sacar mejores calificaciones, ya era más consciente, era un adulto, pero me costó tanto organizarme, tener disciplina, poner alarmas me funcionó. Trabajé okay. mucho, mucho, mucho y tuve una buena jefa, en ser el mejor trabajo que tuve fue de gerente de una academia inglés y esta mujer era cosa seria, pero yuca, yuca, así. Y de esos jefes que uno dice, ay, no, ahí viene, vea. Pero yo aprendí a quererla porque entendí que, que lo que hacían por mi bien al final, o estaba aprendiendo al final, como imitarla me ayudó mucho. Entonces me decía, Rafa, hiciste tal cosa. Y yo, ah, no, ¿y por qué? Vale, vamos a hacer algo, me decía. ¿Para cuándo vas a hacer ese, eso? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tenés que hacer? Eh, ahorita, no, es mentira. Ahorita tenés otras cosas que hacer. Eso y eso. Ajá. ¿Cuándo? Mañana. ¿A qué horas? A las ocho y media. ¿Seguro? Sí. ¿Poniendo el arma? Y yo, vaya, la voy a poner. No, ponela ahorita. Y yo, vuela, ok. La ponía y ahí estaba. Al día siguiente sabía que tenía que hacer eso. Y ya llegaba y me decía, ah, y lo demás lo hiciste. Y yo, eh, no. Pone el, ar pon el arma, me decía. No sé, si yo llevo una agenda. Pues sí, pero ¿y dónde está la agenda? Se me olvidó en la casa. Eh, entonces... este, hay que poner el arma para la agenda. <risa> ok. Entonces, me organizo y digo, bueno, ¿a qué horas? Siendo realista, eh, Carla, ¿a qué horas puedo estudiar un poco después de la clase? Tal vez después de la clase, media hora, va, chivo. Voy a hacerle caso a este viejo panzón. 30 minutos nada más todos los días. Me voy a disciplinar que lo voy a hacer. Sí quiero aprender, vea. Pero ¿qué voy a hacer, teacher? Ah, vaya. Empecemos por algo bien sencillo, que hasta risa da. Voy a agarrar un verbo y una palabra relacionada a este verbo. Ok. En español, mira, trabajar. Aquí tengo que decir de trabajar. Horario. Ah, vaya, el horario chivo. Lo que vimos ahora es que yo. Híjole, vaya. Me compré un lapicero de cuatro minas. Un cuaderno solo para eso y empiezo día uno, verbo o palabra, con su significado en rojo, como me guste, ¿por qué el color? Porque mi cerebro, es, yo le estoy viendo, estoy viendo la cámara, pero mi vista periférica está viendo el verbo, está viendo los colores y ya se lo aprendió el cerebro. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces hay que engañar al cerebro. Y empiezo, mire, positivo, negativo. Pregunta, ya tengo una parte de la tarea. Voy cambiando los sujetos. Me acuerdo de las terceras personas. Ok, ya hice la primera. Segunda, segunda parte de la tarea, ¿no? Segundo verbo, segunda palabra. Verbo relacionado a la palabra o viceversa. Uh -huh. Cambio de sujeto. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Tercera, verbo, tercera palabra. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. Esto es un día. Ya hice cinco. Ok, tengo cinco. Terminé mi día. Ya estuvo. En cinco minutos lo hice. 15. No. Lo meto al traductor de Google. Escucho, repito. Escucho, repito. Y ahí voy. ¿Cuál es la esperanza de esta tarea? Que los cinco verbos me los aprenda porque le estoy dando contexto al, al, al cerebro de, de, de qué quiere decir el verbo. No. Todo se va a aprender. Dos verbos, dos palabras. Ey, pero de eso a nada que no hago, que no me memorizo nada a diario. Un verbo que me aprendiera a diario ya es una ganancia. ¿Sí o no? Sí. Se lo dice a alguien que desde los siete años hizo esto inconscientemente y aprendió inglés y un día dijo, a chis, hablar inglés. <risa> okay. Se lo juro. Yo me quedé en shock cuando empecé a hablar y yo, me entendió lo que le dije, oh my God. <risa> okay. Sí se puede, se puede, Carla, pero la cosa es querer que le guste, que le guste esto y ya no decir y no repetirme la palabra no. En lugar de decir... No puedo, diga, puedo, yo puedo, yo puedo, okay. yo puedo. Aunque después diga, no, no pude, pero bueno, lo intenté. Y ahí está el punto. ¿Ok? okay. Good. Sí. Cualquier Thank cosa, you. ahí estoy en el chat, me escribe si necesita ayuda o alguna otra cosa de refuerzo, ¿ok? Good Gracias, night. Chico. You're welcome. Bye, bye. bye, bye.